Yeah, we're on public. Basically, going to um, time to make a life. You know, you invest your time in your by some outside, you will get life. You go uh, reap the benefits. You know, you put in the work, you labor, you know, give diligence. You will see life at the end of this, man. You know, so we just start with that Romans 3 and 1. And let the scriptures do the talking. Go ahead. This is uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High Yahweh that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Uh, you read verse 1 again. Come on. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, yep. holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Well, how can you uh, present your body as a living sacrifice but giving, your, giving up your time? You know, mm -hmm. investing your time in the truth, man. You know, not um, you not um, what was it? your free time, so to speak. You know, oh, yeah. you kind of skip my mind. Yeah, kind of. You agree to? Kind of. Verse two. It says, "And be not conformed to this world." Right. This world is distractions. Yep. All around us, man. You know, and like they say, same seeking who who may devour, man. Mm -hmm. and then it say, "Redeeming the time." You know. Time is nil, man. The time is equal, man. You know? All right. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why right, being born again, man? You know, seeking so few, seeking out for so much shy. You know? I say seek me ten times earlier. I mean ten times more. Yep. You know? That ye may prove what is uh that good, that acceptable and perfect will of the most high. Right, acceptable and perfect will of the most high, man. You know? Putting your time first, like putting the brothers, the Akim, you know, first, man. Everything, Yahweh Shem Hashem come first before anything, man. That's right, right. You know, this vote come first, man. You know, you just got to make time for it. You, you have time, you just got to make time for it. If you really love something, if you really want to do something, you're going to make time for it. You're going to put in the work, you're going to put in the effort, you know. It's all about the time. All about the time. Like I say, time is everything. And when you go into the world, you say, well, time is money. Yep. And we understand what the true riches is when it comes down to the money. It's this word. So yep. this, is what most, this is what the most of your time supposed to be going to. Yep. We understand that, you know, brothers have jobs and kids. And, you know, a source of other things they got to handle their business. But your main objective, all right, is what? To do the work of your high by Shemal Shah. Yep. You know. And don't waste your time away, man. Yeah. It's spirit come out on pimps. They were basically telling on um, telling me that man, you know, fucking around with them and shit like this. Basically we're like, hey, stop wasting my time, man. You know, so I just found those spirits and even now we're doing a lesson, man. You know? But Jay Big on saying that don't waste my time. How much more the Lord, man? How much more the Lord, man? You lolly guy a guy, you know, yeah. wood pl playing the bullshit, you know. Now, now you say free time wisely, man. You know, so we get the next scripture. I got a quick precept. It's on Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Right, this is your focus in life, man. You 
you know, is to feel the most high keep his commandments and being obedient to him, man. You know, and serving him, man, and choose to save him, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is uh, Baruch 4 and, and uh, 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from the most high, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Right, seek him ten times more. Ten times more, Slaki. Uh-huh. You know, by doing the work, man, laboring, man. Yep. You know, putting, your, keep your hand uh, on that plow, man. Yep. You know, not being idle. You know, the boy get the uh, second Timothy's one too. I got where I'm Are you on? Second, second Timothy chapter four verse two. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Right. Read again. Come. Um, 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Well, he said be instant in season and out of season, man. You know, I think um, we went to the word instant, right? Um, but, um, uh, get that word. Yeah, instant in the blue letter. What, what priest have we met? 2 Timothy 4 and 2. 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Brother, you know, gotta be on go. Especially, you know, brother, gotta be on fire. You know, sometimes you have them weeks, you have them days. But you gotta remember what we're doing, we're rehearsing. Mm-hmm. So we practicing, all right? But we become perfect in your house shop, man. You know, this ain't to get on, on brother, but this is what, like a faith booster. You know, that we commend our brothers. Yep. You know, cheaply myself and other brothers. Hey, this is what we're supposed to be doing, man. Right. Pushing that work, getting the egg. Hey, we in the vineyard, man, working, working. Mm-hmm. All right, so when you have a shot come back, he can see. You know? That's right, huh? Hey, that, 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 that's a motivator, too, man, when you see a brother uh, uh, going hard and working hard and doing the work, you know? Hey, it motivates you to, uh, uh, you know, pick it up, man, you know? Just like if you was on a uh, basketball team or football team, you see a, one of your teammates, man, he going hard. You yeah. know, he giving it everything he got, man. You go, it's gonna pick your uh, uh, intensity up, man. You gonna feed off of that, and be like, yeah, man, that's the spirit. Yeah, 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 I need it. I need it. You know, let me pick it up, man. You, you know, the energy. Yeah, right. The energy of going to the spirit. Yep. Because you, know. you might see um. Watch another brother's video. You might not be in the spirit, but you watching his video. He might have said something. Now you in the spirit. It sparked your spirit. Spark yep. spirit to do a lesson, man. You know, hey, that's why. Uh, what is it? Examine yourself daily, man. Yeah. Take the time out throughout the day, man. Before you uh, just decide, you know, what you gonna do in your free time. You know, whether it be watching movies, which ain't nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. It's just how you look at it. Like, okay, what have I done today for the Lord? Yeah. Did I clock in spiritually? You know, because you want to clock in spiritually every day. You know, you clock in for Esau, man. That's right. You know, you want to make... You on time. Hey, you on time. You ain't really late like that. Uh-huh. How much more the Lord, man? Mm-hmm. And then what I said, we're going back to that rehearsal. Yep. Because, you know, brothers can fly practice on having a set schedule. Or time, you, you know, you got time to put in the work. You know, I got two hours of leisure. So in the two hours, what can I do? You know, to put up something, yeah, about your mouth shop, man. Yep. Hey, like you were saying, you know, in the video, time is m- money. You know, yeah. look at the spiritual, man. You invest your time in the truth. What's the money we gonna get? That's the kingdom the, of heaven. Yeah, that's right. That's hey, the penny, payout. the penny, yeah. everlasting life, the crown. You know. So that's the money. We, that's the reward we look forward to, man. Everlasting yeah. life, man. Being crowned by yeah, about your mouth shop, man. You know. So we gotta clock in spiritually daily, man. You know? Yeah. Hey, put in overtime. Spill your overtime for the spirit, right. man. Yeah. In order to receive that, you had to what? You had to put in the work. Yep. That's right, bro. You know, being chill, charitable uh, to a brother and so on, man. Just examine yourself. Now, what are you doing, you know, mm-hmm. to help forward the ministry, man? Or what are you doing serving the Lord, you know, just for that day, man? You know? Uh-huh. You read two again, brother, get that instant. Uh-huh. It's on 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Right in the cold, out, you know, in the, in the summer, winter, however, man. Yes. Strong's G twenty one eighty six. At this day, me. At this day, me. And it means.
things to stand upon, to be present. To be present. Clock in. You're a tennis, right? You know, you don't want to be absent. <laughs> Go ahead. It say friendly or otherwise usually literal. Assault come uh, unto, upon, and be at hand. Be instant, present, and stand before. Stand before the other some more shot, man. You know? Um, you had some? Yeah. This uh Matthew 6 and 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt. Wait, this this society, man, you know? We said the whole world lie in wickedness, man. We brought up Romans 12 and 2, be not conformed to this world, you know? Because this world is pure evil, pure wickedness, man. This world is going to, uh, to get destroyed, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, and where thieves break through and steal, yep. but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Yeah. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God, how can you lay up yourself treasure in heaven by thinking, of, thinking upon spiritual things, investing in uh, spiritual things, you know, putting your time into spiritual things, man. Yeah. Putting your time is, uh, in the truth, man. Yeah. Hey, you jumped to 33 in the same chapter. It says uh, Matthew 6 and 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Right, all these things going to be added unto us, man. If we, constantly, we continue seeking the Lord, man. Yep. That's life. That's life. Because that's what really he added unto us, life. Because he called us out of darkness, which was death. Which was just what? America, Babylon, man. Now we're in the truth. The Lord has given us life, man. Mercy. Which is what? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. God. You know? And what we gotta do? We gotta put our time in. We gotta invest that time. Yeah. You know why I say time equals yeah. life. Time equals life. You know? And what is right. life? You have a shot. That's right. He said he's the way, the truth, and the life. You know? Yeah, run get um, 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 58. I got it. Go ahead. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yeah, see our labor, us doing the work, us throwing up the spiritual uh, treasures, man. Hey, it's not in vain. All right, but we gotta continue all right, to what? Hold fast to what thou have. That's the what? This word, man. You know? It says steadfast. Don't get that word steadfast in the blue letter. They say unmovable, always abounding in the work. So we always being occupied, dealing with some spiritual and you have about your mouth shot, man. Mm. You know, whether just thinking upon scripture, meditate, you know, uh, chopping it up with a brother, you know, the urn, shopping the urn, that they, they comfort that their brother need. All right, it's just some abounding in the spirit, man. You know, because that's really what uh, moves us, the spirit of you have about your mouth shot. You got it, uh, Karab. Uh, no, no, you got it out. Strong's G, 1476. Hedrias. Hedrias. It's Hedrias, and it means uh, to see, sedentary, immovable, or settled. Settled. Sedentary. Settled. You know, and that's what we, we, we settle. You know, we settle what? And the truth, because our eye is single, man. We, our main focus is the kingdom of heaven. But like I say, now that the Lord called us out of darkness, we got to seek him 10 times more, man. So it's a constantly uh, renewed day by day of the spirit, but we constantly are hey, on the same mission. The mission at hand is what? The kingdom of heaven. In order to do that, you got to be what? You got to continue to labor. Mm -hmm. Hey, because the Lord can fire your ass just like you on a job. Yeah, Esau, you know? Esau fire your ass. Yeah, Esau yeah. king, you man. The Lord don't need us, man. The Lord can get rid of our asses, man. Hey, the scriptures say that uh, uh, he can raise up uh, uh, stones, man. So you, you got to keep that in mind, man. You know? Hey, the Lord could just take me out of take me out of this thing. You know? I got a quick one to back up that point. Oh, no, I'll let him finish the... Uh, the, the uh, <laughs> it's the word sanitary in that definition that he brought out. God. 
It says of work. Cemetery of work or a way of life. See? Characterized by much sitting and little physical exercise. So it's our way of life. See, we gave that old life up. So in this new life that we live in now, what we got to do? We got to do the work. The Lord called us to do the work. So we didn't choose the Lord. The Lord chose us, man. And he said, what? Well, keep his commandments. And one of his commandments said, what? Well, Agape till I come. You know, this is this is the most high business, man. When you break that word down, occupy, you can get that top, top them up. I know you had to put it in the chat. You already about to precept out? No, no, I just spoke on the word occupy. Okay, well, I'm going to bring precept out first. Well, it, it, it is a loop. Okay, oh, can I put it in somebody that's not the one real quick? Come on. Yeah. Is it, uh, I was just going to say, uh, uh, Luke 19, Luke 19, 19, 19, 19. I'm just gonna say on that word cemetery, it said characterized by a little uh, physical exercise of sitting. So it's dealing with studying. Yeah. When you like what we're doing now, we're sitting. It's not really physical. So you this thing, it, it don't require a lot of physical work. More it's more mental. Yeah. So when you're dealing with doing this work. You know, it's it's more merely just discipline. Sit down and focus. You know, everybody has their duties, their chores, their hobbies, whatever it may be. Some have those things more abundantly than others. So, the Lord is judging you according to the talent that He has given you, and the time that you have to invest in that talent that He has given you. So, you know, the apostle, they push us to be diligent, to be, because as a matter of fact, go um, 1 Corinthians 15, 58 real quick. Give me the word abounding. Because we looked up stead, it says steadfast, and the next word was abounding. Mm -hmm. So let's get abounding. A fixed number of measure. Now give me some rock 43 and 30. Bob Bushak. Keep going. To be left over and above a certain number or measure. So it ain't enough. It, it's no the, the, it's the scriptures say that the uh the most highest uh wisdom is infinite. You know? So we got it's this 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 book is it's a it's a living document. And it's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's, it, it's no like way that we can ever do enough. Because the more that we're in this thing, the more really that's required of us. To whom much is given, much is required. The more you learn, the more your talent increases, meaning the more that you have to put forth. Go ahead, Al. This is a uh, Sarah. 43 and 30 it says when you glorify the Lord exalt him as much as you can for even even yet will he far exceed and when ye exalt him put forth all your strength and be not weary now for, that's not talking about according to cemetery in the word steadfast that's not talking about physical strength now you do get physically beat down just from life and the things that you have to do. But this is mental. This is this, this that's where you're supposed to really just lock in and say, okay, I gotta do what I gotta do. Now we're not gonna be perfect. We're gonna have days where we not gonna do a video. It shouldn't be a week. It shouldn't be two weeks. It shouldn't be a month. You know? Three videos a a a, a week is actually the minimum. But the times that we live in, that's why the scriptures say a wise man's heart discerns both time and judgment. So the time that we live in, how urgent is it? That's what you gotta, that's what you gotta look at. That's why the apostle said that we have to uh, uh we need to be doing videos daily. 
First of all, that's the that's just our job. That's just our reasonable service. That's the that's what your house shot did. Yep. That's the example. But when your house shot came on the scene, it was urgent times. Yep. He didn't he didn't mess around from the age of twelve. He was headed, you know. So the closer we get back to that time from him for him to him returning, which is where we at now, right? Hastening in the coming of the day of our Lord. That's right. That's where we at, right? That that's. That's got to be the mindset, you know? That's got to be the mindset. And a brother can hold Psalm 61 and 8, and then I'll be through. And you can finish that. Uh, it says, it's rock 43 and 30. It says, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Mm -hmm. yep, that was it. This is Psalms. You say 61 and 8. Yeah, I believe it's 61 and 8. This is Psalms 61 and 8. So I will sing praise unto thy name forever that I may daily perform my vows. That's the apostles, man. You know, that spirit was King, that's King David, you know. Because we, we, we're supposed to be the house of David. We, are, we have a vow to Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai, really to perform daily, you know. They say perform. So, you know, we have to do this, man. Performing, going back to acting, mm -hmm. which is actions. Mm -hmm. And how do we show our action with the, with the love? And what is love? The keeping of the keeping commandment. Of me. So it's still breaking down to what we still have to, a hey, pull up this work, man. Yep. Yep. Nope. He got it. Oh. You drive to Swag thirty eight and twenty four very quick. We still gonna get the occupy right. Yeah, This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 38 and 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. Right, of leisure, which is what going to your time, your free time, man. You know, to read against the top. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. Right. And he that hath little business shall become wise. Right, he gonna become wise because the little time that he had, the little free time he had, you know, he he using that time to grow his business out, man, to invest in that business, man. You see, mm -hmm. how to abound more, how to increase more in the spirit, so to speak, man. God, you God. know, and that's come by occupying, which we about to get. Go ahead. This is uh, Luke nineteen and thirteen. Uh, yeah, 13, it says, And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Right, Occupy till I come. And this is the Lord speaking, man. Do the work. Stay busy. You know, always uh, being obedient. You know, stay in presence. Uh, you know? There's a little side note right here in my scripture say, Do business. You yeah. just said that. Hey, do what I said, because <laughs> it is the most high business. Right. All right, cause it, what, it's everything is dealt with or what order? But you got the uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Strong's G forty two thirty one. Pragma two am I. Pragma two am I. All right, it says ally on a biblical usage: one to be occupied in anything; two to carry on a business; three to carry on the business of a banker or a trader. Oh, did he not? Is he not trade the talents? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, what? This the most high business, man. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, the strong definition. It says from G, Greek 42.29, to busy oneself with. Hmm. An example, to trade, occupy, you know. So going back to uh, Sirach 43 and 30, and also, uh, what was that, Sirach 18, you just brought out Zahab. Was that you uh, just brought out? Read that again, Bible Shot. So, Sirach 8. 38. 30, 30. Slack it. Yeah, Sirach uh, 38. Oh, I'm here now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Sirach 38 and 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. Mm -hmm. And he that meaning, hath. Meaning. Meaning. Your free time, leisure is free time. Mm -hmm. So you take advantage of the opportunity mm -hmm. in your free time mm -hmm. 
community to do this to do this work. Which really, you we really don't. To be honest, we don't have free time. That's how you gotta look at it. You don't got free time. The scriptures say this is not our rest. That's right. We we first we were put here to serve a sentence. All right. We are. We, this is our judgment, and our reasonable service God. is to preach this word. That's right. Preach this word. Be instant in season. So going into what the season of the times we're living in, the last days, is yeah. is is very urgent that we be constantly doing this because what we're doing is, as this brother always say, we building up a spiritual bank account uh -huh. to be able to pay <laughs> your how about she your house shop. This is what this is how we pay your how about she your house shop. This is this is the money right here. Yep. You see? Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah, that's how we get paid too, boy. Like you said, because this is the business. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we all in that vineyard working for that penny. And, and and we all expecting at the end of the payout day that what we receive that penny. Yep. Which is what the kingdom of heaven. That's yeah. right. But we just can't have if you go uh you know to the uh pre the schlopper, you can't have Jake over there just chugging all the water up. Yeah. Drinking all the Gatorade up. Yeah. Riding the clock. Riding the clock. Riding the clock. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is, yeah. brothers over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, working. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. looking like, man, man, what, what the hell are your videos? Yeah, like, all man. hands on deck. A month, a, a, a month ago? Uh -huh. Get your ass in the, man. Get out of here and start working, man. Yep. That's yeah. Hebrews. If you call a scripture, get Hebrews 11. Finish, finish, finish. I mean, there. Hebrews 6 finish and 11. Okay. Yep. Um, continuing on, it says, And he that hath little business shall become wise. Hey, in Bible Kushai, can a brother get that Proverbs real quick uh, behind it? Uh, and it said, he that have little business shall what? Become wise. Become wise. Now, in other words, the less things you got going on outside of this truth, the wiser you will become. Because that's the more time you got to obligate and dedicate to the truth. So you, you, you wanna you don't wanna be that guy who constantly trying to find uh extra things to do, you know, like or trying to make oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a pick up a second job. Yeah. No. You, you you need to try to figure out how to make one job work mm -hmm. on a schedule that uh not 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 uh, <laughs> uh what you call it um uh, really can't come from prevent you, yeah, prevent you yeah, from yeah. doing this work. Doing the work, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, that's why Apostle tell you quick, quick, quick. Quick, yeah. Yeah. Apostle tell you, <laughs> fuck your job. If, if it's hindering you, you know what I'm saying? That's if, what, if, <laughs> if it's hindering you from the truth, then you already know what to do, man. Yep. yep you yep. know, that, well, that should not be a, uh, a question or a thought because at the end of the day, what's more important? That's right, bro. Your job or the job of you have my shima shot. Cause which one is gonna deliver you? Yeah. Which one bring forth life? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and really, who pays the bill? Yep. You have my shima shot. Yep. You gotta look at the time we living in. It's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers uh, without jobs. And, you know, you, you have to look at this place like, it's finished. You have to be like, okay, my mindset really needs to just be do enough <laughs> to get by. Yep. Really to get by. Yep. You know, to do enough to get by in this world and do all you can to get by and to, 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 to get, get out, uh, you know what I'm saying, of the judgment that's coming. You know? Yeah, that's right. And that's, yeah. hey, that's really a, a, a faith booster, man. You know, to encourage brothers, you know, take take on that. You know what I'm saying? That's that motivation that we be pumping out of here, man. You know, that's that motivation, man. Hey, continue. You know, push a little harder, push a little harder, man. You know, because they finna do away. You see how they're acting up on, on YouTube, man. Cutting brother pages and taking brother uh, pages down and, and swiping videos. Hey, to the point that it ain't gonna be no more of this, man. Yep. Feel it now. The 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 the, the C nineteen it better get way worse. Mm -hmm. So they better shut the city down even worse than than the first time. You know, so the time that we have, man, hey, we gotta take it and we gotta run with it. Yeah, because 
business. On that business, y'all was showing shot business left level, man. This no. business here in America, America, no. it, it's what say he should be loose for a little season. Little season. He got a time that he cannot b- pass, man. Yeah. You know, he got a point of, of time, man. He got to set rulership, man. Hey, that means, guess what? We got to set time. Yep. We got to bound, all right? Because what? The end of Esau is the beginning of who? Jacob. So, hey, at the end of the day, when Jacob trouble comes, here it is, the, the test run. You know, now we got to really go through it and see who who going to be accountable worthy. Yep. You know? Hey, the owl temptation it, coming up. Is exactly. That time is coming up. Yeah. The Lord dealing with time. What's it's a time and purpose for every uh, thing under the sun. Ecclesiastes three. Ecclesiastes three. Yep. 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 You know, so hey, we got to stick and move, man. Uh, time like no other. Jacob trouble. You know, I yeah, brought yeah. that call for Proverbs, right? Yeah, yeah. Proverbs eighteen and nine, and then uh, Proverbs twenty one and twenty five. This is this is Proverbs eighteen verse nine. He he also that is a slothful in his work. Is brother to him that is a great waster. So the world is 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 what's a great waster. This this the people of the world is the are the wasters because when you look at what they're doing, they're not committed to your how about shit your shot. They're not looking at okay the times that we're living in. They're not measuring the time diligently in itself. Mm-hmm. So us knowing the time, what do we have to do? We have to be a brother to the the uh, the ministry. To, Cause what we doing is calling out to our uh, the elect, our hopefully elect brothers, man. Mm-hmm. You know, but if we not doing that, then what we're doing with being a brother to the to the world, the world is is set up to be wasted. You know. Hey, but what what did Howard shot uh, ask Peter? You know, you love me, feed, feed my, my sheep. Come, feed my sheep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, three sheep. times. You know why? Because that was the main objective. That was the main focus. That's feed going his sheep, man. Thank you. And this is what we doing through the spirit. We feeding the what? We feeding the flock, man. Yep, yep. We healing. We healing the brokenhearted. We healing the sick. We healing the blind. Through what? The word, man. Fishing. We, th- exactly. <laughs> That's time. That's time consuming the fishing, man. Yep, and you speaking about fishing, you got to have patience. Yeah, have patience. You know, and that's the thing that the truth will teach us. It teach us patience, man. And patience going back to what? Suffering. All right, so we we gonna suffer a little, man. But guess what? The the payout is way greater. Who cares, man? That you 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 digging more holes in the next brother, man. You know what I'm saying? When you put more bricks on, on the truck than the next brother. Who cares, man? We we supposed to be in this thing for one reason and one reason only. That's the kingdom of heaven. You know, we that body, man. We that spiritual house. Hey, no. can I get this for you real quick? Yeah, go ahead. It's Ecclesiastes 10 and 18. By much slothfulness, the building decayeth. See? Mm-hmm. Because why? It, the, the, you know, how long it take, you know what I'm saying, just think of where the, uh, it's a car building, building a damn house. It took <coughs> like two, three months. Not even that. Yeah, they thought that motherfucker yeah, was so yeah. bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they thought it was bad, but here it is. You got Jake trying to build a house. Yeah. Jay they gonna take, decay. Jay gotta take 30 breaks. Jay gonna call in, you know, you know what I'm mean? saying? Yep, yep. oh, the house is not gonna be right. But when we say Jake, we talking more so. We talking about uh, yeah, Judah, you know. I ain't speaking about the Lord the tribe. Yeah, I ain't speaking about the Lord the tribe. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, come, go ahead. Let's say, by much slothfulness, the building decayed, and through idleness of hands, the house dropped it through. Yep, cause so nobody, uh, uh, Helping stack the brick, the stone, the stone, man. Yeah. Or you even know, Jake on the phone. spiritual house you was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake on the phone. Jake doing this. <laughs> Brother Jake doing that. And like, God damn, idle hands, man. Yes. We're supposed to be trying to get this house up. Right. But we can put the sheep rocks up. You know, then we can, you know, start bringing stuff in. And what? He up at bullshit. Or even maintaining the property. You yeah. Because if you don't clean constantly, you know, mold can get in. If you're not uh, keeping the rodents out, they can, you know, termites yeah, can shoot through. spray. The, mm-hmm. You know, all sorts of things. But it's, when you put it to the truth, man, it's everybody doing the work, man. Mm-hmm. All right, no matter you do Hebrew, you know, you're good with the Hebrew, good with the language. You know, anything, man, just occupy and, and push forth behind my shot ministry, man. Yeah, That's right. what we're here to do. 
Hey, also, Op, man, you need to be going hard right now while you still have a chance, man. Yeah, why you got liberty? Yeah, why you got liberty? Cause hey, the work day about to be over with, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you we we're not gonna we're not gonna be pushing this this word on YouTube forever, man. Yeah, we finna clock gonna, out. We about to clock out. Time finna be up. Hey, Grace. <laughs> After Grace, hey, the payment is due. The bill yeah. is due. Yeah. And guess what? Y'all yeah. so much out finna require it, man. Right. All so, the money. Hey, I was just going to say, so when when you want to get, uh, uh, earn all the money you can get, so you can be able to so, you can, so you can be like, damn, if I ain't got to know, I want to be close to it, to the tab where you're like, all right, you know how sometimes you might pay a bill, you're like, all right, you, you five cents short, I, I I got that, you straight. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, the Lord, we want that mercy, man, because yeah. you ain't, you, you don't meet that, 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 that quota, man, you know? That's right. That's right. Yeah, bring that up. You had something? I was holding it down Proverbs 21 and 25. Okay. Okay. So Proverbs 21 and 25. The desire of the slothful killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. But that's idleness, worthless, vain. And that's two thirds of our people. They're not redeeming the time. They're not watching the time. You know? They're not watching the prophecy. You know? So hey, they worthless. Hey, you know? And according to the to the law, they probably be what? Stoned to death. You know, that's how you know it. Hey, everything worked in order. In the, in the ancient times, man. Everybody had hands on deck. You know? Uh, you got, uh, uh, all right. This is, uh, this is Matthew 25 <clears throat> and verse 26. It says, His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not and gather where I have not struck. Uh, straw. Keep going. Cause the Lord is talking about um, all the um, unfaithful. They're not watching, not laboring, man. Mm-hmm. They call them slothful. You know, wicked. You know, for it. It says, Thou artest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own with usury. Mm-hmm. Which Take- is going to the talents, you know. So that, that really pretty much is on there. Uh, Hebrews 6 and 11. Yeah. All right, I got that too. This is Hebrews uh, 6 and verse 11. It says, And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence mm-hmm. to the full assurance of hope until the end. See, and, and what the scripture say? All right, uh, diligent to what? Make that call in the election. You had that? You know, what it say? He's a rewarder of them. Christians every day, then you you really going off, man. The yeah. scripture said meditate. Yeah. Daily. You're supposed to be coming like, and that's how you're gonna find the inspiration to do lessons. And then you'll see certain brothers, they did three, four lessons in a day. You see the apostles do, you know what I'm saying? So you miss, you might miss a day. Okay. You should be feeling some type of way. Uh, Two days. That's right. Okay. I'm fucking around. I need to get on it. Yeah. Three days pass. Like that first. After that third Shit. day pass, man, you should be really feeling low, man. Yeah. You know, like, hold on. What's, you know, it should be like, it should be earth. It should be a fire, like, that's convicting you. Like, yeah, damn. That first, that first part hop on you. Yep. You know, hey. should be like, God damn, I don't do shit. I know the Lord gonna fuck me. I know something's hey. gonna happen. If you look in every day, uh-huh. now you done look, okay, man, this brother that did uh-huh. in three days, this brother, this brother, this brother, they did 12 videos in three days. Right. And I ain't did one. Right. Come on, man. Yeah. You know, so 
you know, you have to you have to look at those things, man. You know, which we we not saying that this a because the brother, even the brother Zion said, look, it's not saying that it's a competition, you know, because every brother has a, a certain it's talent. A but yeah. one video a day yep. is 24 hours in a day. One 10 minute <coughs> video a day is very, very accomplishable, man. Yeah. To to the most 30 minutes at the time. But the it the ain't no maximum. I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm saying, like, 10 minute video could be, you know. A minimum yeah, is 10, minimum but 10. the maximum is, if you want to do, you know what I'm saying, you want to uh, go two hours, three, that's on you. But, you know, a minimum, you know, just, and then, you know, sometimes you can just pretty much have a spiritual conversation. Not yeah. saying that uh, you should practice doing videos without bringing out scriptures, but sometimes, you just quote, you just you just like doing an exhortation, yeah, like great. like you know this this lesson was uh, inspired from the, the you know the the, the, the brother uh, Zion. Zion, you know, and uh, he didn't bring out no scriptures, but he did, you know, spiritually he he we bringing them out, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, he quoted. But like I said, the spirit that us to hey, yeah. God you look at you look at uh, Apostle Ricard. He'll come on and impromptu. Uh -huh. Look, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And you just tell the truth. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is go on, go on and, and tell the truth and speak the truth. Yep. You know, it don't gotta be. It ain't always gotta be. Uh, it ain't always gotta be so. You know, uh, scripted. Yeah, like, I mean, just, I yeah, for lack of better words, you know. <laughs> that was Apostle uh, Gabbard did the video the other day. He basically was like, you got to express yourself in the truth. Yeah. So really, you when, when you're in the truth, man, you're growing, you got to find yourself. You got to find your own wave. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And once you find your own wave, and you can go about it being you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and brother, look up to that, man. Okay, cool. He Care. wrote that way, you know what I'm saying? And just how you build yourself up, build your own character up. Say, you, hey, you doing your thing? But then what? Uh, you have about your mouth shy. Yeah, you know? that's something that, like I said, you gotta, you gotta pray for that, because, you know, we are, you know, babes, and what a babe does is he mimics what he sees, you know. So like we are all coming into this truth of guilty of kind of like imitating uh, an elder or find a certain individual that we like to watch. We kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you, like he said, you gotta express yourself in this truth. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta like educate, right? Uh -huh. It means to draw out. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to uh, pray for the Lord to draw your character out in this truth. So that when you like you original when you express exactly, yourself, exactly. you know, right, yeah. you're not just yeah. being a parrot. You're not yeah. just you know what I'm saying because that'll make you not want to do like man. I sound like you know what I'm yeah, saying. Right. Man, I sound you know what I'm saying. But you have to be you have to be you. You yeah, know. Yeah. Hey, you got like, to, uh, like an ant though. Go ahead, go ahead, say, uh, like you were saying, you know, express yourself. You could say prove your own. So and it's like yep, yep, yep. yeah. I mean, they come by um, studying. Yeah. Was studied, um, so show that self approved. That study and go to meditate, which is what time. Mm -hmm. Like you studying uh -huh. for a test, you hey, you investing your time to study for the test, mm -hmm. and that's what we doing through the spirit. You know, studying mm -hmm. which, which is what wisdom knowledge. You know, yeah. our temptation coming up, we studying, man. Mm -hmm. You know what to do and what not to do, man. Walk on walking in that wisdom, man. Yeah, yeah that was good with. Uh, Back you up, uh, talk about you know, grab it, uh, Yagana, uh, verse 12. Verse 12. This is Hebrews 6 and 12. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience uh, inherit the promises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. You yeah, know, saying through faith, through faith and patience, you know. So you, 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 uh, you can't just be in a hurry with this thing. Like, you're going to have to go through those experiences to get, mm -hmm. you know, like like uh, like Apostle Gabar was saying, hey, you 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 can't get this, like, you going really on uh, Al 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 Alazar, mm -hmm. like, uh, like how he kind of just don't want to uh, be patient and, and, and be humble uh -huh. and, and, and get to that level, like, because, you know, the Apostles, 
they labor to be on that level, mm -hmm. you know? Where, and because when you look at it, it's a reason why they're able to put out so much like that. Yep. The experiences, yep. Yep. So the spirit, the spirit like is is, is, is is fired up from just so much that they've been experiencing. Yep. That's why when you walking in this uh, truth, you have to use the things that go on in your life right. to express, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like what's going on? You have to use that as fuel for your fight. That's right. That's basically. And that's your, you know, that's your character. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll see Elder Manata Zagba, how he how he delivers the message. Mm -hmm. He he uses the things that's around with his in his realm yep. or or, or uh, uh, Elder Yasha Wamba, like the elders. Yep. You know, you, those are the examples. And then you got other brothers that's, you know what I'm saying? Not elders per se, but you'll see how they express. Like, uh, well, Priest Abaja, he he slick is an elder. Yeah. But you see how he, everybody has a different way that they express themselves, and you watch the brothers that's diligent and doing the videos daily. It's a certain that it's a certain type of character about them that allows them to push out that type of content. Everybody you know, walk that perfect man. And you have to be confident yeah. in that character. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Hey, we said the key thing though, that they experience, man. That's that's what that's, it is. That's what that's what it takes, man. To build it builds character, like even on a job, man. You know, you 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 uh, do the work for so long at a job, and you get that experience, man. You like breathing, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Simple. Yeah, it's it's, it's gonna be easy and to say, you, say, man. It's, it's gonna it's, flow. It's level to this. It's levels to this, you know? man. Yep. You are gonna you know? be in the flow if you if you you know what I mean. You got that experience. Hey, you used to doing it. But how? But how can you get that experience? Through what time? Studying. Yeah. See, going right back to the to the title of the lesson. Time yeah. equals life. That's you know, right, bro. You know, because of the time that you put up in the truth, man, Lord willing, he can grant you life, man, mm -hmm. which is what? Immortality. That's you know? it. You know, uh, I was going to make the point too, just like the brother was saying, not to compare yourself to the next brother, because we all got different measurements, mm -hmm. you know? But like you were saying, um, about the job, you know, levels to it. Yeah. But you got some that get too comfortable with their jobs as well. And right. They just stop doing the work. <laughs> right. You know? Oh, I got this. I already know what to do. Yeah, they get yeah, too yeah. comfortable. Yep. And, hey, Lord, hey, Lord can throw you out for that, man. Mm -hmm. yep. Get remember, fired. Get fired. I mean, my mom was telling me, you know, my parents don't never get too comfortable with mm -hmm. your job. That's right. Same thing in the truth, man. You walking on eggshells, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Everything don't get too comfortable. Don't never get too comfortable, man. Hey, what well, fear the Lord, man. Hey, this come by staying humble and praying to the Lord, man. Right. Hey, we can get a scripture. Um, yeah, this thing ain't about, about ain't about uh, comfort anyway. Right. You know, it's patience. You know, means what suffering. It's mm -hmm. about it's about suffering. Yeah, that's what it is. So, a lot of times you won't do a lesson because you sacrifice, uh, <laughs> sacrifice for comfort. You know, you like, oh man, I watch a movie. I do it later. You know, mm -hmm. no, you say what, what you brought out, putting that off from day to day. Mm -hmm. You know, do we bring that out? No, uh, no, nope. yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring that down. but y'all got it. But that's you know, that's the thing. You know, you can't you, you can't uh, sacrifice for comfort. You gotta because this remember it say endure hardness. So this thing is not about being comfortable. This this truth is about uh, when when you first get it, it's sweet. But yep. now this the this, this the this the bitterness of it. You know what I'm saying? This the bitterness of it, man. Yep. Yep. You know? And it's just the tip of the iceberg, man. And you think the more that we put out these videos, the more wicked the world gets. <laughs> because yep. like the Lord don't need great numbers. So every time uh a hopeful elect is brought into this thing, somebody comes into this thing, the world gets exponentially more wicked. You see? <laughs> so it's like, damn. Yeah, but but, but do you look like just every brother like that ain't been from our that ain't from our camp, they them say, man, y'all growing, y'all growing, you know, y'all growing. But we can't take that for granted because as much as we growing, much more that the world yeah, outside yeah. is getting is getting wicked, wicked. You know, so you we have to keep those things account. Okay, now we got fruit to maintain in within our own church, Man. you know, and we still gotta keep putting it out for whoever else out there that 
you know, to may come in, and come into the fold. Yeah, that's right. It's good saying, no, the time is short. Yep. You know? No, I say be instant, in season, out of season. That time is, 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 is a must, man. We, we must, you know, I say we must be on time with the time of Yahweh by Shemar Shah. You know? So when we, we have sit downs and lessons and things of that nature, brother has to be on time because time is everything. You know, you can be late sometimes and then throw the whole time and off of, you know, what was the purpose of the uh, objective was or the mission, you know? That's why time is everything, man. But we're rehearsing. rehearsing brother's going to get it. Brother's going to get it right, you know? But it's, it's just you got to have that mind state to want to get it right. Yeah. You got to have that mind state to want to do a lesson, to want to call a brother to, to fellowship and do a lesson. You got to have that mind state, man. Yeah, All right? I'm just going to send you this. Putting the time, putting the Lord first in your time. Yeah, that's right. Then you, that's like the brother was saying, you know, then you want to try to fuck off or, or whatever, watch a movie, whatever. There's a balance to it. Yeah, you I don't want with it. Uh-huh. No, you put the Lord, for, the Lord work first. No, you yeah. invest in that time first. Uh, priorities. Yeah. Priorities. Priorities. Set you a, a, a schedule, you know? man. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. So, yeah. This is a Ecclesiasticus yeah, five and your, six. And say not, his mercy is great. He will be uh, pacified for the multitude of my sins. Mm. Mm. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation resteth upon sinners. Mm. So like you were saying earlier, like you can't get too comfortable. You can't just you know, expect the Most High to have mercy on you. you know. And then you know, going into verse 7, it says, mm-hmm. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put, off, uh, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah. So that's like what brothers were saying. You can't get comfortable, you know, going into that word security. You know, you can't think that you're secure. You got to constant. This is a, a work, man. Yeah, if you think you already saved, you secure. Hey, Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Yeah, that's a, that's a prideful spirit. That's those Christians. That's Christians. I'm blessed and highly favored. Fr- 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 you saved. know, I'm already saved. You got to do nothing. A physician is, uh, doesn't go to those that are whole. Right. You know? So you say, oh, how are we going to be saved? By works. By faith. By works. By works. By works. Right. So, <laughs> the, 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 the works come through your faith. Because without faith, you can't do the works. Right. So you can't even say you got faith. If you're not doing the work, exactly. <laughs> and then still go. I right mean, you can say line. it, mm-hmm. yeah, but you don't got no proof, right? right. Like Apostle Paul said, yeah. Show me, uh, yo, yo, uh, show me your uh, work by your by your faith, and yeah. I show you my uh, faith by my works. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying? if I'm not uh, the battling or whatever, yeah. Right. Right. But look, it's still falling under the time right. because us going out, like us right now doing this lesson, is what. The time, you put the time yeah, yeah. in. Oh yeah. Watch to receive the life. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's no way you can get around it. It's still involved around the time. Yep. Yeah, and with the time that you you you, you invest in the out by Shema Shah, he can have mercy on you to give you life. Hey, yeah. this word it quick it quickens you. It yeah. makes you alive. Yeah, I see. So when you invest, when you invest your time into it, 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 it you know, because you really you when you don't do the work. You, you know that dead feeling you get. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, you just be like, oh. you, it be them demons. It be them demons. Like, uh, you know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. Con- 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 them demons uh, conjure up uh, comforting words in your mind to make it okay yeah. not to do the work. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And can, you, you start engaging in fleshly pleasures and you know yeah, things yeah. that make you feel, you know, yeah. feel good on yeah. the outside. But nothing compares to when you do this work. Ooh, the, 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 you know what I'm saying? When you're done, yeah. that, that inner feeling that you get from your spirit being fed. That's right. Know? That's right, I feel. You feel so good as you get done doing the work. You feel relief. Yep. You can scratch like, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, man, yeah. You no. Know? Yep. You feel so good because you done, you put that time in there. The, like you said, that breath of life, that the knowledge that you understanding, man. You, you done hold on to the spirit for that 20 minutes or that 15, you know, 11 minutes. 
you know, you was in the spirit. You tap in. You know, you tap all that. You catch that wave. Yeah, and she got in there. You got out there while, uh, what the Apostle Rumble out here and make that lesson. Uh, strike while the iron is hot. Strike while the iron is hot. You know, when you, you feel that spirit, man, you got to go with it. You know what else? It's going to die down. You're going to die. You're feeling down. Yup. Yup. Yeah, spirit yeah. left. Yeah, it been time. Um, I had, like, a video I want to get into. Then next, next thing I know, Couple of hours, couple of minutes. Like Somebody know, already. So I'm like, damn, man. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's what. Uh, like that. That's uh what happened with me and Malachi. Oh. Uh, the Passover night is when I actually seen the Lil Nas X uh, Nike shit with the drop of blood, and then I was like, we'll get it tomorrow. You know, I and when I woke up that morning, it was not Zuck by had already done it. I said, you know what? That's why you're supposed to do it. But I mean, we still did it. Yeah. But you, you really should when you when you when you get that spirit and you see something, yeah, you, 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 you just, just that's called striking. You go and attack it. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. cause see, we had time. It was the past overnight. You know what I'm saying? We had just finished. Brothers was just fellowshipping and having spiritual conversation or whatnot. But why not? Do, if, if, yeah. do the less we yeah, could have just knocked it down yeah went on and knocked it down you know so hey it's it's uh it's very important man that you be prepared like i say being instant being ready mm-hmm. being ready like like i know i got the uh the phone mount in the car whatever you know be ready keep your keep your sword keep your sword on you if you got two or three garments Keep a garment in the car, you know, all the time. You know, right. keep yeah. but be prepared. Uh-huh. That's and that way you don't have no uh you know, you don't have no 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 excuse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Basically, you don't have no excuse, but I, I got a lesson to do, but I ain't got my I ain't got uh-huh. I need this, I need nah, you know, you look at you look at if you look at the brothers that's that's diligently doing videos every day, just think about they got the laptop, they got the, you know, they invested, they they invested their money into this thing, you know, and they constantly ready. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, I, they was just out and about. Oh, I just thought he was bang, you know. Yeah. 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 Right, this is 2 Timothy 2 and 24. Yeah. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, how to teach, mm-hmm. you know, patience. But go to the instant and see the Addison and be out to teach me. Yeah, out. Look that word up. Skillful in teaching. Yup. Now how do you develop skill? Study. Study. No. <laughs> anything that uh, you do that requires skill for you to do it, you had to invest time into it uh-huh. to develop that skill, man. You know. Uh-huh. And then you go with uh, uh, being gentle to all men. Like you gotta know how to talk to people. Uh-huh. You know. But if you're not constantly practicing and dealing, how do you how do you learn how to, you you're just not gonna wake up one oh, you know? Cause you have to be a discerner of spirits. Discerning it comes through studying the scriptures and you, you you read these different accounts of these different spirits and the you know you read these different proverbs and these songs or, and, and the scriptures let you know okay this is this type of individual this is this like. One, one, one that I apply a lot is uh, answer not a fool according to his folly. Now, one scripture say don't answer a fool. And then the scripture right behind it say answer a fool if he be wise in his own conceit. So you got to know how to discern that spirit, you know. Yeah. Just like we was just watching before we did the live show, GMS Dallas live count. This guy came up like he had like a feminine spirit on him. And that's all I was thinking to myself while he was talking. And then he came out and said that his 
kids was homosexual. Yeah, I was like, well, that makes sense because you kind of got a feminine spirit. Mm -hmm. Me, I can't stand homosexuals. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah, uh -huh. But if you look how they dealt, they were very skillful in how they dealt with them. Yeah. You know? So that was something that I took here. Like, okay, you still gotta be, you gotta be patient yeah. with, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's a balance to it, you know. Because yeah, they still yeah. gave him. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't uh, trim their ways. Yeah. You know. They didn't. They didn't. Yeah. They didn't yeah. You know. Basically, like lay out the uh, red carpet and say, "Oh, you good?" Like the Christians do. "Oh, you good? Uh -huh. Come as you." No, nah, they still gave him the judgment. Right. That's why scripture say, try the spirit whether they be of the most high. Yeah. You know? So you still have to try. The scripture's going to cut you. You know? The scripture's going to cut you. The scripture's going to cut you harder than anything we can personally attack you with. You know? Yeah. You know? But it's just, it's an experience thing to even be able to deal with certain, because certain, like you, you, like, man, get your ass out of here, man. Uh -huh. You know? But look how much more edification comes out with you being able to uh, pretty much be a people person. That's what it is. Being a people person, you know, but yep. being a people person don't mean sacrificing your morals and your beliefs to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. Like a salesman. Right. Like a car salesman, he's, he's out there to sell cars. By any and, means. And he knows how to read a person's, a read a person. And by the end of the transaction, if he doesn't sell a car, then he didn't do his job. You know, he doesn't really give a fuck if that person wanted a a, a Camaro or, you know, whatever. <laughs> hey, he's on a job to sell cars. He doesn't care if he's going to wind up broke selling or buying that car or if he has plenty of money in the bank to buy a car. Right. He's only looking to sell cars. Same thing with us. We're out here to, to bring judgment, yep. you know, to anybody that steps up and, and is, hey, they... They're, they're, they're listening. Hey, you're going to receive the judgment. Yep. Hey, if you accept it or not, then all right. <laughs> it's good yep. that you do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, it's good that they um, got bought the car now. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, man. Yep. But not to digress, just dealing with that particular skill of dealing with people. Like a car salesman don't just get good at selling cars. Yeah, it's a he, 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 most car salesmen don't really uh they, when they first start they don't last like you it, they have to go through like uh, they have to know the car like it's got 3.4 cubic transmission yeah. you know you have to you know that's it. that is skill yeah. you know but that just show you like certain jakes in the world and invest their times into shit that's vain <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And be professionals in it. How right. much more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are we like we we like uh scholars, man. Yep. We supposed to be scholars with this, you know? That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll wrap it up. Okay. First Timothy 4, 12 through 16. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith and purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Well, they say give attendance to reading, man. They said blessings to man that read it, you know. Yeah. Would you understand this word, this word, man? Read it, man. Read the Bible, go ahead. Verse 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Now, they're going to the town and said, neglect not the gift that was given unto you. You know, so whatever the Lord bless you with, all right, hey, that what you call them, you know, you know, really invest your time in at, at doing the work. You know, showing the Lord, look what I'm doing with the talent that you gave me, man. Go ahead. Verse 15. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. And you're going to always be in the spirit if you meditate upon these things, man. All right, you think about like, dang, you know, slavery or prophecy or, or, or Esau going to slavery. All right, the kingdom is coming. You know, I just meditate on what we do get get hauled out to a country's camp. Something dealing in the spirit, man. Yeah. You know, so yeah. you always in the spirit. You occupying your time and your your mind. On, 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 you have about your mouth shot. Prophecy. Yeah, prophecy. That's right. It's on it. 
Come, that thy profiting may appear to all. Verse 16, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue with them, for in doing this. Take, occupy, continue with them. You know, till the Lord come. You got to continue. You remember he said, scribe unto the truth, unto death. So it's something that you got to continue. Endure all things. Something that you, you got to continue. You have to suffer. But guess what? It's for a, what? a greater purpose, man. This is what is life. Everlasting life, man. You know? A world without end. You know, that's what we that's what we fighting for. That's what we are investing our time right now for. You know, to receive that life, man. Yeah. And the spirit hit me, but it showed me I uh, mistyped the, uh, the lesson. I put faith in your life. But if you have faith, you go put the time in for your opportunity. Yeah. You, know? hey, you got to have both. You got to have both. Faith and work. You know, hey, hey. Time going to works, you yeah. know. Uh, it's, it's still there. I'm just go back and change it. I'm going to win. Come, come, man. I'll finish it up. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and. Yeah, you're going to save yourself first. Mm -hmm. By doing what? Doing what the Lord commanded you to do. Yeah. He said, what? Go on the highways and the hedges and beg them to the marriage. You know, so you continue to do that. Guess what? You're going to save yourself. All right? Doing lessons. All right, following the order, the protocol, you're going to save yourself. Go ahead. And them that hear thee. And them that hear thee, which is what? The hope that it let. Mm -hmm. You know, because we understand only the sheep will hear your house shot voice, man. Come on. So we saving the elect. We are doing all things for the elect. All right. But what? We can be saving them too. But without putting the time in, what's going to happen? You know, the sheep gonna run off, you know, but you gotta invest your time, man. You know, I don't want to get that priest up too. I know that, uh, I think Isaiah 53, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look it up. But go ahead, yeah. Kara. Go ahead, Kara. This is Titus, chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. Young men likewise exhort to be sober minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. And doctrine showing uncorruptness and gravity and sincerity. Yep. It says read verse six again. This is Titus chapter two, verse six. Young men likewise exhort to be sober minded. This is the word sober minded. Strong's G forty nine ninety three. So Sophroneo. So Sophroneo. Sophroneo. It says one. Uh, to be of a sound mind, to be in one's right mind. B, to exercise self-control. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's all. That's all it is in, in to doing the work is you got to exercise self-control, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to take control of your flesh and perform in the spirit. You know, there's a lot of times. That's all it is. That's the only reason you ain't doing lesson today is because you didn't exercise self-control you chose to do other things you know what i'm saying versus committing to the to the ministry you know but what does it say uh the lord told uh the disciples you cannot uh, about uh it escaped me you cannot be my disciple i'm roughly paraphrasing if any man love father and mother more than me he's not worthy of me Disciple. The disciple, the to the disciple, the word disciple is in you. Cannot be my disciple. Yeah. That probably, yeah, you yeah. can any man. But that's going into anything. You, you can read it. Go ahead. Yeah, Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, in his own life. Also. That's the point. Yeah, in his own life. You know? He cannot be my disciple. That takes discipline. Mm -hmm. That takes discipline, man. Uh, you talking about Luke 14. That, that, uh, whosoever don't not burn his cross and come back to me cannot be my disciple. That, yeah, yeah, that's the one I really was talking about. Yeah, yeah right. bury your cross. But that, yeah. to bury your cross, you have to, you know what I'm saying? You, you have to uh, exercise self control. Mm -hmm. You know? 
Because if you don't, then your cross is going to over. Like the things that uh, are outside this truth are going to consume you. Okay. You know? Because uh, it's a, um, what's a hate thing going to uh, love less. Yep, yep. So you got to love yourself less. You know, you can't put yourself first. Yeah. You can't put your parents first. <laughs> you got to put the Lord first. You know? Hey, you got, we got to be like Jaheen. You know what I'm saying? Put that woman first. first. You know what I'm saying? We know what that woman is, man. That's wisdom. You know? Because what we trying to do, man, we try we try to desire a kingdom, man. We try to hey, we 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 need lavish stones now, man. Right. You know? So we gotta put that wisdom first, man, to receive life, man. But take time and invest in her, man. You know? Diligence. That's right. You got that survive. Damn, didn't I just wrap it up? Yeah, yeah. I didn't carab. You get carab one though. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll end on this carab. All right, talk about this. Is a a uh This is a Ecclesiastes eight and five. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man heart discern of both time and judgment. Mm -hmm. You want to say oh yeah, uh, you, uh, read the next scripture. Hey, John, right there. Read uh, is it that was eight and five? Read verse six. Oh, okay. Verse six, go with it too. It's Ecclesiastes eight verse six, because to every purpose there is a time and judgment. See, to every purpose is a time and judgment. So the purpose of us pushing out these videos. And it's, notice the apostle told us to do video a video a day, right? He exhorted us to do a video a day before he deemed this year yeah, yeah, a year of hastening the coming of the Lord. Uh, so that, that's not like some we know that ain't something he set up and wrote out of, you know, a first, on this day I'm gonna do this and right, then, right, right. you know, the we spirit, know how man. apostles they work according to the spirit, yeah. you know, so. The, the time and the judgment so we understand what is the time or the hasten of the coming of our Lord what he asked for us to do you brought it up occupy till I come that's so, how you know we're at the end that's man. how you know we're at the end the spirit, the spirit. Okay, it's, it's flowing so much information to the point that it's just gonna all come to a crash man yeah, we saw we ain't gonna have no up. choice you know cause right now we we, we going uh 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 135 mm -hmm. we, we, it's just 160 on the dash Yep. No, we breaking the uh, the governor. Uh huh. That the governor is being broke. Like the governor is what control the the speed. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got dropping the two. Yeah, yeah. Got to get the, the three. governor. He, he, he yeah. saw he saw can't govern all these videos that's coming out. Right. Man. You know, we flooding. Flooding. Crash the internet. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. That's, and all we doing is uh exciting prophecy. Basically, uh, you know, pushing prophecy, man. Because, yeah. hey, if you think about it too, <laughs> that's another thing. You like, you get in a zone, man. And you really see like how time moves so fast. Like when you get disciplined and you get it, because you know, which I have to get back to that discipline, uh, that mode. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I get out of it. You know, but if you ever get in a mode to where it's like clockwork, how you doing? Like, okay, I know this time. Once you, but your body, like a lot of times, be fighting that shit. Mm -hmm. You have to get get it under control with that discipline. Okay, at this time, I'm going to do this lesson. I'm going to wake up this time, do that. But if you ever get in the rhythm of that, uh, uh, what you call it, a, a circadian what? Circadian rhythm. A circadian rhythm, right? Time, time flies like, you know what I'm saying? But if you get, I know it's like, if you get caught up in Doing things in the world, the shit you really be miserable more. You, you, you're like, damn, I got no work. Uh, uh, yeah. But when you get in that circadian rhythm of the spirit, and you pushing out there work, man, time be like. I would like the the flow state. That flow state, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Because yep. in the spirit world, you know, time moves faster, man. Yep. Like, like the more yep. you tap in the spirit, time just flies. You yep. know, we conversating, have fellowship with brothers. You know, it was seven. Well, we link up to seven thirty. Shit, it's just down to ten. Yep. 
you know? Damn. Don't feel like it. That's the spirit moving, man. Yeah. You know? Getting on the spirit realm, time moving fast, man. Yep. So you see when every time brothers make up, time just go by so fast because we be in the spirit. And then you'll get a lot of brothers, they desire, like, man, I can't wait to see the brothers. I can't wait to get back around brothers. Well, how do you speed that up? How do you speed that hey, up? Hey, stay occupied. Stay, o- stay occupied. You know, stay occupied. Because, you know, that's the Lord's business, man. We're going to get the, uh, I guess it's 23 and 22. 28. 28. This is Ecclesiasticus 28 and 22. 23 and 28. 23 and 28. Slightly. Ecclesiasticus 23 and 28. It is great glory to follow the Lord and to be received of him is long life. Yeah. Alright, All right, so with that, I hope you brothers and sisters are edified. Once again, we give our honor and glory and power to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rechakabash. I want to say double honors to our elders, our great apostles, the great minister, and peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. Next time, a shalom, shalom, baba baba, baba baba, rock ka'akim, rock ka'akim.